I don't want to brag, but I'm a pretty, pretty good tennis player. I mean, I'm no Serena or Federer, but I might just be a Kevin. You see, Kevin was the captain of my high school's tennis team. And there was this one time that I totally beat him with my sizzling serve. It was so fast that there was no way he could get it, even if he didn't have that cast on his leg. So yeah, I'm pretty good. Now there's a way to help you perfect your serve, just like I did. You can take more tennis swats with ball chasing tennis bots. Here's Ali Ward to explain. Imagine this is your tennis buddy, an ace of automation, retrieving your runaway tennis balls while you focus on your forehand. This court companion is called Tenabot, and it's the brainchild of Haitham Elatrabi and Lincoln Wong. I visited Auburn, Alabama to see how convenience on the court was served up by science. Where did this idea originate? I think the uh, first head idea was on the court, getting frustrated from picking up all those tennis balls, and then I couldn't take it anymore. Can you tell me a little bit of, of how it works? So as a robot, there's two jive motor, and then there's a roller motor in the front to, to, to shoot the ball from here to the bucket, and there's camera in front of the tennis ball. This is for the detection of the tennis ball around it on the tennis court. And we're using visual odometry to figure out where it is on the tennis court. Tenabot is assisted by the station, which keeps track of the rover and helps it navigate. Did you really have to tell the machine, okay, look for a ball, looks like this, but there's 50 of them. <laughs> In the app, you can choose which area you want the tennis ball to stay on. So for example, you want to stay on the fence area and you choose that from the app and the tempo will figure that out for you. Or you can let it autonomous and it's do a thing, look for balls all over. Originally made of plastic, then perfected through work on this wooden prototype, the 25 pound Tenabot can now collect up to 80 tennis balls. So I brought tennis shoes. Can we go see this yeah. on the court? Let's do it. <gasps> Designed with wheels and a handle, when its work is done, it rolls like a suitcase. Okay, so first step is you just start lobbing balls. That's right. Right? Oh, uh, ha! <laughs> nice. You got it, Lincoln. Nice. There you go. You can see who the professionals are. Go, go, go. You got it. Whoa! <laughs> this is actually making more fun knowing that I don't have to go get all those. Time for our robot friend to take to the court. While we take a seat. And now it's just gobble, gobble, gobble time, right? That's right. You can also change the speed on it. You can decide how fast you want it to go. You can go faster, you can go slower. Oh, look at that. Well, let's go see how it did. Let's do it. All right, Tinybot. Good work! <laughs> there it is, the last one. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Tinybot. <laughs> Tinybot's like, I got more juice, man. I don't know why you guys are so tired. <laughs>